Hello everyone, part 11, time to do some cool stuff now. Uh, so what we're going to do on this part is going to be make the user can favorite a post. And we're going to uh, add another function for increment the favorite count. So when I mean increment the favorite count, I mean inside the post model right now, we have the favorite count here and this is still at zero. So this is what we're going to change. So the first thing we need to do is going to be pretty simple. So all we're going to set up that is we need first thing to add a way to know where is the post, uh, which post it's favorite by the user. And we're going to, after that, add the, another method where we're going to add uh, a way to make the user favorite uh, a post. So here what we're going to do, we're going to jump inside the uh, user.model.js and here after a password, so be sure you are inside a good curly bracket. So as you can see, I use rainbow bracket, so that make me know where I am. So here I'm going to say favorite. So favorite going to be an object. Why? Because maybe I'm going to want to favorite something else. So favorite going to have post. So here, as you can see, I can favorite maybe like, I don't know, like uh, you want to favorite uh, uh, like a to-do. Uh, you see what I mean? Like you can have multiple uh, stuff you can favorite. So this is what I try to, to, to tell you. Here, that's going to be an array of object. And here, we're going to say type of schema type object ID. And we're going to put a ref of post. So here what we did, it's a way to make the populate working. So we have already used this way when inside the post model, we say the author, it's a ref to the uh, user. And here, as you can see, that was just an object with the user. The thing I want you to see from right now, it's to know what is the po uh, what is the name here. So I suppose with uppercase. So here, this is my ref. And here, as you can see, that's going to be an array of objects. So finally, that's going to be an array of uh, object ID. And when we're going to populate, we're going to have an array of posts. So you see what I mean? So here we have the favorite. Now we need to make a way to add a post to the favorite. So inside the method, I'm going to go there. I'm going to create a new uh, method and I'm going to put underscore favorites. I'm going to show you in a moment why I put underscore here. So here I'm going to have multiple favorite function because I'm going to have made me a multiple favorite stuff. So inside my favorite, I'm going to say uh, post. And I'm going to pass a post ID as an argument. Here, we're going to do an if statement. So finally, uh, Mongoose is really smart for do a lot of stuff, but something you cannot do, it's sending something and change the Boolean. Like, uh, I mean, uh, here, we're going to have an array of uh, posts. And what we want to be sure, if is the post is not there, we add it. If it's there, we remove it. So it's a way to make like a toggle, like if a favorite or on favorite. So here, all we can do this is by doing an if statement. And that's going to be pretty simple. We're going to say this, that favorite. So when I say this, that favorite, this is here. That post. So that was the post inside the favorite. And I'm going to use the method uh, index of who is working inside an array. So index of, if, if it's an array uh, method. And because post it's an array, that's why I can use it. Index of gonna give me the uh, index of my post ID because remember we're gonna have an array of ID. In here, so if I have it, so if this uh, post ID is inside my array, I'm gonna have an index who, uh, gonna be uh, equal or more than zero. So that's why here I'm gonna say that. So if the post is there finally, so the index it's Maybe 0, 1, 2, 3. Now what I'm going to do there, it's I'm going to say this, that favorites, that post. So again, I want to toggle my post here. And I'm going to say dot remove. So this is a method inside uh, Mongoose. And I can do this. So I'm going to remove this post ID inside my array. After that, I'm going to make an else statement here. And I'm going to say the the... the the, like the, the opposite of that and that's going to be this, that favorite, that post and I'm going to say that push and I'm going to push the ID. Hmm, that was pretty simple, huh? no? Yeah, but we're going to have a lot more stuff to do here. 
here that's okay we have we add the stuff but we don't forget to don't forget inside the the the, the post method here to return uh, the saving method so this that save so we want to save the user with that because if you do this that's gonna work but that don't don't gonna stay inside the database remember that the save is there because we want to say to the db now we want to to change it in the document because if you do this right now that's gonna work on the document right there but the state gonna be uh, don't gonna stay uh, after like a refresh or something like that so now we have that so now time to jump on the post controller because yes we we finally it's not the user who uh, the favorite method is inside the, the 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 post and you're gonna see why in a moment that's gonna be much more simpler to make it with that so inside the post now we're gonna need to do something it's to import the user uh, model at the top because we're gonna use the user uh, method and we need to find the user so here I'm gonna find my user coming from user model and I'm gonna go to the bottom here and now here I'm gonna create my favorite post so here that's gonna be uh, I'm gonna export an async uh, function again called favorite favorite post we're gonna take a rec and a rec so request and response we're gonna have again the famous try catch and we're gonna return 964 here in 972 perfect First thing we need to do is find the user in the database. So the first thing we need to make here is const user gonna equal to a premises called user that's find by ID. And because we're gonna use the authentication with the GWT, we're gonna have access to his ID. And we have access to this by doing what we do on the other stuff by doing rec that uh, user that underscore ID. So here rec that user that underscore ID. So now here, I'm gonna have my user. So user here, it's me. After that, I'm gonna say await. Now my user have the method underscore favorites. So the method we just create here, underscore favorite, but this method, it's just an object. So I need to toggle my post. The post, don't forget this. And now I'm gonna pass the params at that ID, who is the post. So here, maybe you understand now why I put an underscore. Because if I don't put the underscore, what happens? It's I toggle that. So you see, if I don't put an underscore, what I'm gonna see that favorite, it, that don't gonna be the method, that's gonna be what I have inside my schema. So that's why I put it there. So here, I'm gonna say user favorite that post, direct that params that ID. I send the params ID right here. So this is there. And after that, I do my if statement. If it's there, I remove it. So I unfavorite. If not, I push it. So this part was there. And finally, here, I'm going to return. And here, the only thing you need is to return a res that sends status. And I'm going to send that HTTP status that, okay. So this is done. So that's it. Maybe some of you ask why you don't send like this is like or unlike or whatever you want. I mean, that's going to be pretty simple. I mean, uh, like uh, I think about making the uh, the front end with that and, uh, on other tutorial. And uh, what I'm going to show you, it's a way to just like the front end just need to manage the state how he is right now. And he makes some kind of like... The front end is supposed to say, okay, now it's false. So now if I click, now it's true. If I get an, an error, I'm going to remake it false. But if I get no error, I keep it true. So now here you get, okay, now I receive a 200. So now it's true. So I just keep it as a true. So you see what I mean? Like the, the, the front end is supposed to keep the state in the, in the front. So you're going to know what happened. So go inside the post route. And now what I'm going to say, it's uh, I'm going to say here, that's going to be all my favorite routes. And I'm gonna say root route, sorry, that post, uh, yeah, post because we uh, post, yep. Yeah. And now I'm gonna say uh, ID, so that's why we get underscore ID. But I need to make it with the favorite because that's gonna be much more simpler to keep my rest uh, thing, make it easier for me after that to work. Because now I know here it's the favorite method. 
And after that, I'm going to put my alt GWT, so I get authentication, and I need to add my post controller, and I'm going to use my favorite that post. Time to test it. I'm going to jump on Postman, and I'm going to have RoboMongo. So what you need to do first, it's inside Postman. Inside Postman, first thing, get all your posts. I get all my posts, perfect. After that, you need to log in too, so log. After that, take your JWT. And now go inside post favorite, create the, the post. So I take finally the first ID of my post, so this one. I go inside my headers and I'm gonna paste this GWT. And now I'm gonna send it. I get okay. So do like, oh, can I know if that works? You go inside RoboMongo, you open user. Oh, look at that. Now I have 10 fill of this one and this one I have nine fill. So that must be the first one, the first uh, user uh, who I make uh, the, the change. So that was, yes, so that was John Do. Perfect. Now inside my favorite, I have one field. And inside my post, you see it's an array of element. And now if I open it, I have an array. And the first element at the first index is the object ID who finished by 184. And this is this one, 184. So now, right now, my user has favorite the post. So my user, we know he has favorite this post. We have only the object ID. Why keep the object ID? It's because we have a maximum in in storage with a document in MongoDB. And if you don't want to like fill this user like with all the posts because it's gonna be crazy and put all the elements, if you save the object ID just like a string, so this is just uh, less big and that make you to add more posts. So maybe like if the user have 100 favorite posts, gonna take less place with ID here than having 100 full object of posts. So you see what I mean? But well, now look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna send again. Now I get okay. What I happen if I refresh or oh, command air or control air? Now I open that. Okay, I keep I have one field, but because it's that. But now look, my post now I have no element. I just unfavorite it. So I remove the ID from my array. So now I have unfavorite my user. And here you're gonna see. For you, that must be like two. So this is the version of your user. And because we change it because of this, you're going to see like this thing going to change a lot. Perfect. But now, I mean, I told you I need to change the favorite con. Like inside post model, I have favorite con here. Do this thing, I've changed. So I'm going to go inside my post. I'm going to refresh. And 104 is this one. But look, no. Favorite con have no change at all. So how can I do this? You have a lot of way to make it, but I'm gonna show you a way I think gonna make sense with what we have already done. And I hope you're gonna enjoy what we go uh, you're gonna learn there. That's gonna be pretty simple and pretty uh, good stuff, I think. So we're gonna jump on the post model and we're gonna add statics method. So as you remember, the statics method, it's on the schema and not on the document so a method it's when like you have initiate like it's almost like when you work with class when you have a static method uh, a static method in class you can toggle this method without initialize the class but method you need so that's why like you need to find the user and do stuff so think about like a uh, find by id it's almost like a static method so here i'm doing this because i don't want to find the post the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say ink, so for increment, favorite, count, and this thing, the only thing I'm gonna need to have is the post ID again. This one, we're gonna return. Don't forget to return here. Don't forget to return there, because if you don't return, that's gonna break with the await method we're gonna use after that. This, that find by ID and update, woo, it's a static method on. Uh, the schema. So we're gonna find the ID and we're gonna update. So it's gonna be pretty simple. The first thing you need here, it's a so it's a Mongo method update command by document ID field. So the first thing you need to pass is the ID first thing. So we're gonna pass post ID, and after that we need to say what we're gonna increment. And I'm gonna say inside MongoDB you have a method called ink, and so ink change the old number by the number you want. 
you're gonna see right there. So here I'm gonna say favorite con for the name of my methods, favorite con here, who by default is zero, oh, 0, and I'm gonna say one. So this method in favorite con gonna add to the pose I find here, and I put here, I'm gonna increment the favorite con from one. So it's a one gonna be two, it's two gonna be three, so you follow me. Here, I'm gonna do select everything here. I'm gonna shift command D. I'm gonna put a comma here, don't, don't forget. But now I'm gonna change the name here because now we want to decrement. Because when you favorite, I want to add one to the favorite con. But when it on favorite, I need to remove it because I mean, if I favorite, uh, if I uh, favorite 100 times a post and I at the end I unfavorite it so I don't keep it, I'm gonna have a favorite count of 100 and that's gonna make no sense. I mean, if no, not 100 user like it. But now, here, how can I do that? My way I'm gonna use here, you can use like deck and everything, but I'm gonna just change that and I'm gonna say minus one. So we're gonna just increment by minus one. <coughs> So here now, we're gonna need to jump on the uh, user model and we're gonna change a uh, little stuff of what we did today. So we're gonna go at the bottom. And now here, this is the place. I think it's a good place to make it because here we remove it. So why don't make the method for uh, like a deck favorite con and you see what I mean? So here, what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna say import post from pose that post model, I'm gonna take my post object, and here what I'm gonna say, so here I have access to the post ID. So I'm gonna say post that deck. So I'm gonna just just for be sure I'm gonna go to post model. I'm gonna copy and paste this one and I'm gonna say favorite con. And the only thing I need to do here is post it pass my post ID. But the thing is this thing it's a it's a premises because if you've seen the post controller and uh, post model that was fine by ID and update, so this is a premises. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say async on my post here, and now I can use await. And that's gonna be the same for when now it's time to add the favorite con. I'm gonna say ink like that. Nothing more to do now. If you jump on postman, now I have no favorite just for showing you. I'm gonna go to my user, I'm gonna refresh. Can fill, but I have here zero element. Now I'm gonna send. I get okay, perfect. I'm gonna jump on Robo Mongo. I'm gonna refresh my user. One element, perfect. So this is my post. Now if I go there and now I refresh and I check my post 104, favorite con one. So we just finally uh, add one to the element who was zero before. And now if I click again, I'm gonna jump on RoboMongo again. My user, I'm gonna refresh. Favorite zero. And now here, I'm gonna refresh, come in here again. The last one, and now zero, you see? And now maybe like some of you gonna ask, okay, yeah, but here maybe you can get to minus one, but here if I push, put again, that's gonna increment by one. Yes, I mean, this is maybe not the best production code, but this is working for now, and I think this is good for this tutorial and at least that let you know what is a favorite method and uh, a method and a static. And here you see the the static. I don't need to find the the, the post because it's on the post uh, schema. So this is what I told you when I say statics. But when I told you about um, about a method, you need to have the uh, the user himself. So I'm gonna push the code on GitHub again. And I hope you enjoyed this part. So if you like, click the like button. Please subscribe if you didn't. And we're going to jump on the part 12 where we're going to have, I get again, more fun. So I hope you enjoy and have a good day. Bye.